You're not stealing my thunder. You got attacked by a bear. Steal it every time. I hope you come to every show with me. You have all your limbs too, everything. So the bear's right. Oh, ooh, the neck. To your face. Okay, now here, the first bite was to his face is what he said. Now here's my thing. Here's what I was thinking initially. Let me tell you my quick little bear story, and then I want to hear the real deal. Because my thing is, they tell you to play dead. How? Because if there's a bear attacking me, I don't think I can play dead. Like if a bear swipes at me and it's like, how can you be quiet? I'm gonna at least go, mm, something. A bear, like what's the bear's qualification? What is the qual, like is it looking at your chest go up and down while you hold it? Ah! Ah! What does it look, what if it's a smart bear? And it's like, oh, I've been here before with these humans. Just put his paw on your neck. Like I feel a pulse. Ah! Right? What is it? This is what's in my head. Now I need to know the truth. What happened? Don't touch my mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Typical. So all of a sudden I looked over and there was about an eight and a half foot grizzly and its head was swinging left and right and uh, I was hunting and all of a sudden, pause, you were hunting grizzly? Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's what you get. All right, go ahead. We'll move on. No, but I'm saying, Karma, hey, hey, hey. Oh, you hunting us? We're hunting you. Anyway, I put the bow down and grabbed the rifle, which I thought was a smart move. But anyway, all of a sudden, I saw moss shooting up behind it. All the hair stood up on its back, and it started charging me. Uh, so about 15 feet out from me, I shot right in its face. It didn't do anything. It plowed into me, hit me square in the chest with its head. Hold on. Hold on, don't just keep going with the story that you told a hundred times that's in the book. We got other questions. <laughs> now, when it hit you in the chest with its head, what did that feel like? Like being run over by an NFL linebacker, I would imagine. I never hit, been hit by one, but that was what I was thinking. That's you would assume, yeah. Line. And it was right in your chest, like boom, or was it off to the side in the muscle? And I was trying to be a man at that point, <laughs> but it wasn't working. <laughs> I leave that out of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a natural. So anyway, I shot it in the face. It didn't do anything. It lunged at me with its, my brother was saying, yeah, the mouth opens about that big like a snake. I shoved the rifle like a bayonet into the mouth and it. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> As you go on with this story, I'm curious, wh wh why does your brother know everything so well? <laughs> what is he doing? Your brother should have been like, and I was shooting, and I didn't see anything but flashes in front of me. What's he doing? He was actually back behind me. He was making the moose calls. Yeah. So this thing was hunting us. He made the moose calls, and he brought a bear in instead of a moose. So it's your brother's fault. So it's kind of his your fault. Your brother's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It, but anyway, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What does a moose do? What does a moose sound like? Is he in here? Because your brother's in here. The one hiding in the woods. The brother that watched the bear bite his brother's face off. He's not here. There are people that don't have a face that looks as good as yours that's never been bit by a bear. You got bit in the face by a bear, and you still look this good. I'm very impressed. Yeah. I practiced before the hunt, and I gave one moose call, and he told me, don't ever do that again. He says, I'll make the moose calls. Yeah, right. I was like, all right. So he brought him in, though. Anyway, this thing, it spun around after it slid over the top of me, and it stunk. It put both of its paws right on my shoulders, and the first bite was to my face. Yeah. And then the next, don't get all sad about it now. You're alive. Don't, yeah, yeah. All right, don't worry. And what happens next? So the next thing it was, um, 
So I was a firefighter for 21 years, and I felt this warm stuff, blood. Oh, stop. This guy's just getting all the love right now. Go ahead, what else did he do? So I was an organ donor just in case every time I hunt. I actually gave half of my heart away uh, during the hunt, too. But uh, how much nicer and better does this guy get? Oh, I wish he was black. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, so I felt the warmth, so I just put my chin down to try and stop some of the bleeding. And then it decided, because I was still uh, screaming like a girl, this is what my, it grabbed a, What does that sound like? Oh, that, it was one time. Seriously? <laughs> Was that all right? Okay. Is that all right? So, and then, then oh the God. thing decided to put its, uh, yeah, its whole jaw over the back of my head and started squeezing at that point. Yep. And um, were you playing dead like we're supposed to? That don't work. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> so you were like, get off me! Oh, oh, oh. You were very alive. Oh. Very much alive. Literally, it's, and it was just a natural reaction. I started hitting the nose, and then it grabbed me. I don't know if you can see it, but so this is the bite radius. So this was like a baby bear. Yeah, and it punched through the back of my arm here. Wow. Out of there. So, but it didn't like me punching it, and so it grabbed my arm and then did that whole violent head shake, and I, that's when I knew what I was pretty much done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how come you told us you were a firefighter before? Because there was some relevance to that part. Because I knew that when you have a, a tennis ball size hole ripped in your neck, you probably want to stop that bleeding. Yeah. I'm a comedian and I know that, so. I just slip in firefighter for no reason. Yeah, I, just, I figured I better use some of those skills. I probably know how to use some of those skills. So, so tell us how you got out of this situation. What happened? Did your brother finally come out of the bushes? Or was he like, I got the whole thing on Snapchat? He was, to his credit, he was in waders. And if you've ever hunted moose before, it's really nasty area, swamp, bog. So it took him a while to get there. You said swamp what? Like bogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we ended up... Uh, I did about two minutes with the bear. It had it picked me up all the way off the ground, and then uh, it scalped my skull. So uh, basically, my whole scalp was laid over. And, you got um, hair. <laughs> but it's all fixed now. It is all fixed. I had a good surgeon. Yeah. But yes, my brother did save my life. He ended up. The bear was circling around me and was right in front of me. And my brother literally came up nonstop until he got close enough when the bear turned with my leg in its mouth. And uh, he uh, said something loud enough that the bear dropped my leg and charged him and then he fired. And, but it was still alive. It just hit him enough that it chased him into the woods. And then what, what did he say? Wow. If it's appropriate, don't say anything. <laughs> was he just like, put him down? Or was he, did he say something like, I didn't hear everything because my ears were ringing and I had so much blood. I couldn't, I was blind. I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. Can you see now? I can see. You think I'm a good looking guy? Oh, you are handsome. <laughs> uh -huh. You see just fine. <laughs> Tell me your name one more time. Greg Matthews. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Greg Matthews. Okay, he'll be on Animal Planet July 22nd. We'll see him there. So you guys saw him here first at the Corey Rodriguez show. Shut up now about Greg. We're done with him, okay? It's all good. Yeah, he's alive. Okay, let's move on.